Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Womzibi Beauty. If you are new to my channel, my name is Juliana. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking the top five powder foundation palettes I tried them this summer. Yeah, if you are not new to this channel, you know that my favorite thing about makeup is um, eyeshadow palette and that's what i generally feature on this channel but i mean to put on the eyeshadow you have to put on your base first and as it's been summer i couldn't use my foundation because i just don't like the feel of foundation on my skin in the summer yeah my foundation will last through the heat but the feel on my skin it feels a bit heavier since they certain to use concealer so i do use mac pro long wear concealer that's the only concealer on my skin i use um nc50 so just so you know once i apply my um, primers um to you know my skin of course oily skin so i do apply both hydrating primers and mattifying primers once i've done that then i apply the mac pro long wear concealer and then i set with my powder so these powders some have enjoyed more than others for whatever reason and that's what we are going to be talking about today so i'm going to be ranking five in total before we get into the ranking i'd just like to see all those five uh <laughs> They are all fantastic, as in absolutely fantastic. I could have just settled for one and be done. But it just so happens I tried, you know, more than one and I love them, you know, more than the other for whatever reason. But any of the five, if you get your hands on it, they are absolutely fantastic. Okay, in fifth place is one size turn up the base foundation powder and the shade I use is dark one. I was a bit skeptical when I first bought this um not just for the formula but also for the color because looking at it it looks so light you know compared to if you were to see it on the website or anywhere it look, just looks so so light than what i'm used to or what my skin feels like but i watched one or two reviews to just try and see people using the same color whether it kind of match them but the thing is it oxidizes so it is perfect for my skin so even though it looks like i don't know what is coming across on this camera but even though it looks light, it's absolutely perfect for me. The reason why it's in number five is because of the price point. It's the most expensive out of all the powders I'll be showing you, but it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and it's also mattifying. One thing I would say though, for me, this is how I apply my powders. So I use the powder puff. And I find that, um, I do use um, brushes as well. I find that the impact of the powder puffs are is better than the brushes if I, I, mean, I don't have to explain it. This just gives the powder application light and fluffy application so they are not too overpowered. They are not too centered in one place. They spread evenly and you know I don't just, I don't get too much impact. Basically I have control over what I'm applying and I also use the smaller one um, when it comes to my own eye. So yeah I definitely use this powder just so you know. So if you have tried any of these powders and you use brushes or something else or the the puff that comes with it and you don't have the same experience i would say try this powder puff they are perfect yeah i, I was late to eat because i didn't want to think that that's revolutionary but they are <laughs> they honestly yeah they make a lot of difference all right so going back to the powders yeah this one yeah i enjoyed but i mean from a price point is the most expensive out of all the five i'm going to be showing you and that's the only reason why i'm ranking it in the fifth place also because it's not so easy to get in uk now if you are based in the us you wouldn't have any problem getting these powders but for me yeah i think there's only one or two places that stock it in uk and because of that there isn't any competition and it's just pricey basically <laughs> but i don't like the effect it's fluffy it's light on the skin even though it's mattifying and it's full coverage it's, it doesn't give you a cakey feeling on the skin and it doesn't give you a cakey after effects yeah but i'm still ranking it in the fifth place okay in fourth place is sephora's own powder and this is in milk chocolate number 56 that's what i can see on the back i don't know whether that's the, actually the color if it's different then i'll put it um on the screen so this definitely says milk chocolate deep and it has 56 in circle so this has been ranked in the fourth place again this is fluffy this is beautiful it's not cakey um it's a little bit it's just a tiny tad golden more golden than my skin tone and to be honest that's the only reason why i'm ranking it in the first place because it's absolutely equally beautiful it's lighter than some of the others but it, which probably makes it better but it's just the shade match is a little bit just a tiny little bit golden now if i were to be using it on my body 
it will be perfect because uh, my body is actually lighter than my face but my face is a tad darker possibly because of the sun so that is the only reason why i'm ranking it in the fourth place but it's an equally beautiful powder yeah so again this is from sephora all right in third place is the good old dandy mac powder i've been using this powder god for so many so many years i absolutely love this powder i love this one in the sense that even for this one you don't even need to use a concealer first to have a full effects of like foundation on your skin you know sometimes they say powder foundation but it doesn't give you much coverage this gives you the coverage um that you need but for me i just like that effect of my base looking as if i actually had liquid foundation and this is what this powder does when i've used the concealer and used this powder on top it actually looks like i had liquid foundation on my skin i, I just that's me i like a full face full beat kind of base kind of i don't know how to explain it i like if i'm gonna wear makeup i want to wear makeup unless i'm going to the shops to buy i don't know shopping or whatever and even still i, I mean even when i'm going to the shop i still use powder and i still do eyeshadows but if i'm going for a full day you know how they are to work or whatever i like to be put together almost like i use liquid foundation so this is what these powders do on top of my concealer they give me a full effect of full foundation and i absolutely love them yeah so this has been ranked in the third place now i find this one slightly heavier on the skin than the others i've been showing you and the others i will show you the second and the first one this my i think it's because it's got more pigment and it's supposed to kind of like give you a full effect you know a full almost like you're having foundation on your skin yeah like liquid foundation i think that's why it's a tiny bit heavier it's not cakey or anything but those ones are just more fluffy than this but this is so reliable I, 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 like i said i've used this for years there were times i didn't hear i didn't know of any other one apart from mac i mean that's all i use but yeah absolutely beautiful again all right so the second place is slay ready filtered face powder so this is from slay ready cosmetics and the shade i use is hot honey i will try and put the shade on as i'm showing you on the screen in the video so this is hot honey and this is a love affair i think this is possibly my third one now this i carry one in my bag and i also have one in my makeup bag when i'm doing my face in the morning but i do not go out without this <laughs> one of them is in my bag i don't know which one is which of which is which but one of them is in my bag is the same shade yeah I keep one in my bag and one in my makeup kit absolutely beautiful and is waterproof water and sweat proof that's why i carry this around and this is why i love it so even though i sometimes when i just use like um loose setting powder when i use loose setting powder to set my concealer or use set my foundation i still always put this on top and the reason is to give me that waterproof and sweat proof cover or layer on my skin i absolutely love it for this one and i also love this one because the puff it comes with the puff it comes with you can actually use this and it gives you more impact than using a brush or any other thing one thing about this is i do not use powder puff with them it's a bit strange yeah i don't use powder puff when i'm applying this i only use brushes and i think it's because of the waterproof and sweat proof thing because i don't want that mixing with fabric i don't know how to explain it but i i don't know if whether this is proven but it's my instinct when i'm using this i just don't feel like using a powder puff with it so i just stick with the brush but this is absolutely beautiful the coverage the everything it does again it does not give you the cakey effect but the extra fact that it is waterproof and sweat proof makes me love it so much so i, I carry it everywhere i go everywhere and after this i also have two backups somewhere because this is not one i can run out of yeah but i'm still ranking it in the second place and you know why when you see the first one yeah so slay ready cosmetic filter face powder is being ranked in the second position and finally my number one now this is the first time this this summer will be the first time i'll be using this powder i've used foundation this is the maybelline super stay 24 hour powder oh my days this is absolutely amazing and you probably look at it and think it's new yeah it's my second one <laughs> this is the first one now i've used this one to the look it's only got like tiny little yeah things around it so when i'm in a rush i can't start scraping so if i'm not in a rush i use the old one uh, because i have the patience to kind of like scrape around it but i brought out the new one for when i'm like in a rush but yeah my shade is in 60 60 when i first got this i thought it was going to be too light for me 
think it's called Jones, the 60 Jones or whatever that is. But it's 60, I think it goes by number anyway if you are trying to match yourself. Yeah, I thought it was going to be too light for me and you know about, I thought, okay, I know how to work even if it's too light, I know how to match it to my face and work the perimeter, perimeters of my face to make it suit my skin, but it's not. It actually matches my skin perfectly. Absolutely beautiful powder. If you are going to try a powder foundation, one is this one. And it's the fact that it's not too pricey. I think it's about £11 on Beauty Bay. Absolutely amazing. Now that I brought out my second one, I'm going to have to go and buy it back up. In fact, tonight. Because these are beautiful. And when you have good things on Beauty Bay, they tend to run out of stock quickly. Especially when it's dark skin um, kind of ranges. The lighter ones, they will be there. But the darker ones, they are quick to... Because they don't... These brands, they don't generally stock darker um, shades as much as they stock lighter ones. So you find that the darker ones tend to be out of stock more than the lighter ones. Yeah, so I'm getting another pack of them tonight. But this is amazing, amazing. Soft, mattifying, beautiful smooth oh, this is one of the smoothest powder i've ever tried and this one the good thing is whether you're using a powder puff or you're using a brush it has the same effect yeah this powder puff give it a more kind of like better coverage than a brush but sometimes depending on what i want if i just want that matte effect just lightly i will use a brush but if i want the full effect full beat you know smooth skin this is what I use with it. This is absolutely amazing. In fact, I cannot even say how amazing it it is. Enough, you know. It's, it's it was a surprise for me, and I absolutely love it. Again, it's the Super Stay 24 Hour um, Powder. Now, if, for me to be talking about these products, you have to know that I have loved them and I have enjoyed them because for me, all I care about is eyeshadow palettes. Really, I see base as just. It means to an end for me to be able to apply my eyeshadow but i've enjoyed enjoyed my bases you know different things and uh, in this summer in the last few months i've really really enjoyed that type of makeup or probably because i've been trying to buy less of eyeshadow palettes as well so i needed to shift my focus from eyeshadow palette to other stuff and try and enjoy my primers enjoy my powders i don't know whether that's why but for me i've been enjoying these things you know outside of them um, eyeshadow palettes and i just thought i would share them with you so i hope you've enjoyed this kind of video you've enjoyed um seeing what i've loved in especially when it comes to powder and you've enjoyed this ranking if you do love this kind of video please let me know in the comment section let me know whether you want to see my favorite um primers as well my favorite setting spray um that's the way i do my makeup i don't tend to kind of like stick to one thing i have like 10 different primers that i randomly rotate different setting spray that i randomly rotate so if you like this kind of videos please let me know but that brings us to the end of today's video i hope you've enjoyed this ranking and you've enjoyed seeing my best and powder foundations if you have enjoyed this video please like it share it and subscribe to my channel i would love to have you on this platform and until next time i'll see you